I am not really the kind of person who really finds nostalgia in the games I play, but when I do, I will probably do everything in my power to find something relatable in that particular game, or at least find the reason to make it an enjoyable experience for me. This game is no exception, and I gotta say, it's just a surprisingly good time. Good day ladies and gents! Today I'm going to talk about War of Divisions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I won't say that it's the perfect successor to another great strategy game, but it has potential. War of Divisions has been released in 2020 and is a spin-off to an already existing game called Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. Instead of the traditional RPG that Brave Exvius presents, War of Divisions has a strategy RPG gameplay similar to that of games like Fire Emblem and Final Fantasy Tactics. In fact, some fans and game critics consider War of Divisions to be a spiritual successor to the aforementioned title, with some features that makes the former stand out, such as uh, a simplified job system. Um, among others. Speaking of features, this game is filled to the brim with things to do to the point that you may end up becoming overwhelmed. Uh, whether it be a positive or a negative way, that all comes up to you. Since then you will be needing most of them in a bit to make your units a lot stronger. You can either grind for resources to power up your characters, resources to expand your in-game monetary income, and the like. Well, uh, it, it's just like every other gacha game in existence to be honest. Although you can just simply spend some cash to quicken your progress. And this is one of the few gripes that the game suffers from. It really wants you to spend money if you want to make faster progress. In fact, there are some items that can only be bought by a currency known as Vizior, which is the premium currency of the game. And yes, you can buy them. With real cash. While you can get some of them for free, especially early on in the game, you really have to spend a lot of time to even get a handful of it. And when I say a lot of time, I mean a lot. You finish stages, missions, and meet certain milestones to get some... Uh... Yeah, actually scratch that. Vizior are plentiful, but only if you're new. Otherwise, uh, well, I think you'll get the idea as you play throughout the game. You'll realize that your Vizior income is going to dwindle as fast as an... Well, as Gale Snappers trying to feed themselves into next week. Thankfully, the game is pretty generous for new players, allowing them to get a maxed out character right away, as well as some resources to power up your characters faster, such as Gil and even Vizior. Nevertheless, it doesn't change the fact that you really had to put tremendous effort to make your character work throughout most content, especially in harder maps where you're required to take out some powerful enemies with specific team setups. Ah, uh, yeah, I have to admit, those maps are a pain. But honestly, without proper, proper preparation, proper preparation <laughs> and with terrible RNG, it may take some time for you to get past the harder stages, which takes around weeks or probably even months depending on your free time. The game also introduces a unique job system, which I mentioned a while ago, in which each character is presented with a main job and two sub-jobs, which offers various strategies for each character and this system is what makes the game so much fun and experimenting fun team setups. I gotta be honest, uh, it's okay. And it really encourages you to experiment with your team's own in each map that you encounter, which is nice. Of course, there are other game modes, such as the arena where you are encouraged to try different team setups or to even try in the rankings, uh, let alone maintain it. Uh, honestly, I am a bit uh, mixed about this particular game mode, especially that whales are the ones who continuously thrive and make that particular game mode a little bit more profitable to say the least. So yeah, uh, if you are not, not a big spender, then I suggest that you stay away from PvP. You can also grab gear in this game to power up your units, uh, which is nice. Some gameplay elements from Brave Exvius were also adapted to this game, such as the inclusion of Trustmaster rewards. Uh, Trustmaster rewards are basically um, pieces of equipment that you get from characters once you max them out. Well, although in this case, uh, you have to max out their ascension stars as well as their limit breaks. So, yeah, it's very tedious to say the least. However, given the fact that you will need to grind for those things, yeah. But nevertheless, they are powerful. Some of them are even game breaking, but yeah. Uh, not having the right Trustmaster rewards doesn't prevent you from enjoying the game as there aren't tons of single player content to salivate your senses. 
You also have tons of ways to power up your units, such as equipping them with items known as vision cards, which offers various bonuses for a lot of characters. Some of them are more powerful ones, uh, only affecting specific setups, which encourages experimentation above all else. But even with those things, you still need to grind. Weapon shards, vision card shards, spheres, stones, and other trinkets of some value. You are going to need a lot of stamina, a portion of your free time, and even patience to get a decent loadout. And even then, it will never be enough. Well, at least based on my experience, of course, since uh, I just started around October. And... Uh, you know. The story takes place in a world similar to Brave Exvius, but in the continent of Ardra, where each kingdom faces their own set of conflicts that they need to solve. Honestly, I'm not really interested in the overall plot, but I am surprised with the amount of twists and turns it offers, making me at least intrigued to what may happen next, if not totally care for the characters. As for the voice acting, who oh boy, I gotta admit, the English voice cast is amazing. We have the likes of Erica Mendez, Patrick Seitz, and even Zach Aguilar, all of which are high-profile voice artists with excellent portfolios at their disposal. <coughs> Genshin. <coughs> uh, yeah, uh, there's just this inner me that wanted to be a voice actor. Please help. Although, I'm not going to discuss my thoughts on the Japanese dub because, honestly, it's a no-brainer. Japanese dub makes this story a lot more interesting and makes the game a more engaging, to say the least. But nonetheless, I say give the English dub a chance. Uh, I, it's honestly not as bad as what some people think. The game also features a guild system which encourages you to play with your friends or with strangers because uh, no one you know would love to play the game with you and would rather tell you to get a job or something. Not that I'm against those kind of people, of course. They just want to help you, you know. So, yeah, although let's face it, you're just in there for the visitors. <laughs> yeah, you're all right. Yeah, you're one of those guilty ones, huh? Uh, yeah, I'm also one of them, to be honest. Speaking of visitor, this is the main resource you'll need to pull for characters and vision cards, among other goodies. And yeah, that is one of the other grunts that this game has for a lot of players, especially Final Fantasy fans. Units? Vizior. Vision cards? Vizior. Other items that will aid you on your journey? Uh, well, you can get them in other game modes, but if you want a faster progress, then yeah, Vizior is the way to go. Actually, as a gacha game, uh, it is to be expected. Nevertheless, this is nothing new, but despite that, it's not as blatant as most people say, but it can be a hassle for a lot of people that really just want to casually have some fun without spending a ton, which is uh, understandable at best. Uh, you do you. So what are my overall thoughts on War Divisions? It's fun, if you have the patience and free time for it. It has some nice moments, but if you are the kind of person that has a lot of free time, or rather, the lack thereof, then I say you try something else like, um, you know, Brave XVS. That is fun. Well, uh, I guess that's all for now. See you guys next time. Bye!